In this video, I am going to go over the assignment that you're going to be doing for the next few days. So, as usual, if you need to pause the video or rewind, feel free to do that. At the end of the video, once you've watched the entire thing, if you have any questions, please see me right away and I can help you out. So we're starting on It's Learning, as you can see. And once you're here, you'll see there's a new playlist. It says Currency Exchange Activity. You're going to click on that to open it up. Okay, here it is. You'll see it's one, two, three, four, five kind of little graphic organizers. So make sure you're looking at those. Now what you have to do is use your imagination. I'm going to say that you have an unlimited amount of money. You are the richest person in the entire world. Now what you need to do is think about some things you might want to buy. And money doesn't matter. How much it costs doesn't matter. Think about some things that you might want to buy. Obviously they have to be things that you can actually buy. So think about that and one place you can head over to now is Amazon. And you can open that up and once this is open, if you want to use Amazon, you can use Google also. I just think Amazon is a, a good, reliable place to go shopping. Come back to the assignment and now think about what item you might want to buy. I, I'm going to think that I want some new Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, I know it's not the biggest thing I could buy, but as long as I have the money, that's what I'm going to buy. Now I'm going to head over to Amazon, and I'm going to put in Bluetooth ear buds. And I'm going to pick a pair. Maybe I can shop a little bit. It's okay if you guys want to do a little bit of shopping. These look pretty good right here. So these are the ones that I want. I'm going to take a look at how much they cost. $25.99. They're on sale. Okay, once I have that amount, I'm going to go back to the assignment. How much was it? $25.99. And I'm going to put the cost in the cost in U.S. dollars column. So $25.99. Okay, so to buy these Bluetooth earbuds in the United States will cost you $25.99. Next step head back to the Padlet. Here it is. And you'll see under the introduction column there's a tile that says currency converter. Go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you up to a page that looks like this. Now I don't want you to do any of this stuff down here and all you're really looking at is really is right here where it says one United States dollar. Okay. The next thing you need to do is click right here and it will pull up any country on earth. They're all there. It's alphabetical. You need to pick a country. It can be any of them. Let's say Brazil. Okay, so right here. Now you'll see that that says, it looks like it says Brazilian real, but it's probably pronounced Brazilian real. Brazilian real. That's what I'm thinking. So go ahead and click on that if you want to. Now go back to your graphic organizer. What country are we in? Brazil. And the name of the country's currency is the real. And now you're ready for the final step. Take a look. $25.99. Brazil. Real. Now you're going to go over to your cost converter and you will see that you can enter $25.99 and it will tell you that if you were to buy these Bluetooth earbuds in Brazil it would cost you 133 real or 133.51 real. 133.51. Now you head back to your assignment and right here 
you put 133.51. There you go. And you've got that done for Brazil. Next, you're going to do basically what you just did, except you're going to pick a different country. So you already have the 2599 in there. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Egyptian pound. Hmm. I'd like to visit Egypt. Might want to get some Bluetooth earbuds while I'm there. So I click on that. You'll go back to your assignment. Egypt. The type of currency is pound 408.29 pounds. $25.99 in the U.S. equals 408.29 Egyptian pounds. What was it again? I forgot just that quickly. 408.29. 408.29. And you'll do that for two more countries. That way you will see that if you were to get a set of Bluetooth earbuds that cost $25.99 in the U.S., how much it would cost in the currency of four countries around the world. You repeat that until you have all five of these filled up. Try not to use the same countries every time. Try to mix it up as much as you can. And there are enough countries in the world that you should be able to do that. So there you go. If you have any questions that were not answered in this video, see me and we'll get those taken care of. Good luck.